Hey everybody, my name is Tiffany and welcome, <laughs> welcome to my channel. So, um, first thing I want to say is welcome from Spring Valley, Alabama. I live in a town on the back 20 acres of a bunch of land out in the middle of the country and right now dogs are acting crazy. There's people out running their dogs, hunting season's coming up or it's here. I don't know. I don't keep up with it. And this is Rosalie. I just wanted to tell you about her because she's like going crazy and wanting to bark. And I just wanted you to see how amazing it she is. We've had her, this is one of our biggest changes in the past year. I've always wanted a Cocker Spaniel and a friend of mine couldn't keep her anymore. And I think she matches me. She's real goofy, but she's cute. So you can't help but love her. And, <laughs> and you know, I treat her like Darnaris Targaryen. Every time I find something new about her that I love, it's the... Uh, it started off Rosalie, the chaser of butterflies, the killer of bees. I'll show a video here of all the carpenter bees we get here on the porch and it's bananas and she just chases them all day. And so she's just finding new things and she's amazing. So she's starting to not be cute and she's ready to jump down. My parents are actually gone right now to their friend's house to watch the game. I am dog sitting. Not only do we have Rosalie, we have two little Australian puppies, Australian Shepherd puppies, and they're in the house. They're crazy. So I just needed time to make this video. So <coughs> let's talk about, you know, the tea here. But first, let me take a sip of water before I get started. This mug was given to me by my best friend, Allison, and I love it that's her she's you know redhead and there's me I always have my hair up in some kind of braid and it's amazing I'm so excited let's get down to it of changes so there's changes and goals because it's 2020 you know my vision is clear and I see things and you know one thing's to happen well I don't know this is just to keep me accountable I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon of uh, let's just be real let's do this and there's nothing wrong with that so this is how I've always made my videos anyway I do have a goal of trying to make them more organized <laughs> let's see if that happens so <clears throat> just as a disclaimer a goal is just dreams with deadlines one of my favorite quotes <laughs> So, um, I have all these dreams and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to try to edit out some of that. Okay, so I'm going to have to edit out some craziness from time to time. So, I might be in a different seating position or something like that. So, just ignore the spastic spasticness. So, let's get back. Okay. <clears throat> Goals are just dreams with deadlines. And let's just start with the first big, let's just start with, let's start with changes. Okay. My biggest change was career. I went from the restaurant industry for 17 years to, um, to the job I'm at to today. And it's happened over the past year. And what happened was I decided after 17 years, I was even a salaried manager. I just didn't like my job anymore I did it's not that I didn't like it it's like I loved it but I couldn't make I couldn't make people love their job as much as I loved my job I couldn't I don't have and especially in the restaurant industry um I tried you know I tried leading by example I tried doing other things a lot of that stuff just didn't work and that's okay you know that's okay. It's going to have to be because that's what was happening. Okay. And, um, and I'm glad it happened. I always thought I would stay there and it just didn't work out. So I stepped down and went back to school, graduated with a communications degree from the University of North Alabama. And I started looking for jobs that had to do with my field. And I did. I found one and it just turned into something that I didn't like. I didn't like the way it was going. And then I ended up leaving there and I went back to Outback and I was just serving and I was trying to start up my own business. I call myself the Shoals Area Hot Girl and I've got to get that all like reserved for me. I was told how to do it, make myself an LLC before someone else changes it. I don't want them to. I love it. 
And I just want to help support small businesses through social media or maybe be one of those bloggers that gets people to give me free stuff to sell their stuff. I don't know. That would be a byproduct. My main product is wanting to help build businesses, but I actually found a full-time job where I can do that. I work at Logan Court and it is amazing. And I'll just put links to like our Facebook page and I do social media for other things too. And, um, you know, the businesses are pretty sound, but you know, when you want them to grow, you know, it's tough, especially when people have their own mindset of how they want stuff done. So it's all a learning experience for all of us. And so I love the place where I'm at. I'm in Tuscumbia and it's like, think of Cracker Barrel, but it's a coffee shop, a sandwich shop, and then it has like, it's a Christian bookstore and then it has clothes and shoes. It has like a little bit of everything, which is good to have in Tuscumbia. I almost think of it like a gift shop, which is really great. And I have hashtags like come for the food, stay for the fashion, or come for the coffee, stay for the inspiration. Um, just different things like that. So, um, I'm building on that and I love it and I just want it to stay because that's what's scary about small businesses. I'm used to a corporate, you know, and you have people come in telling you what to do and you just do what they tell you to. And I mean, it's sound because it's established and we've only been there a year, but it started to do good, you know, and, and I have other people encouraging me too. don't, I'm not down at everybody at my church is super happy that this has happened because I work for, you know, a Christian bookstore and I can do stuff for church and things like that which really makes me feel better and so spiritually I'm actually really great right now so like in the past year you know I got that new job I started teaching dance and you might see some videos of me twirling so I was a majorette in high school um I'm gonna rummage up a picture of me and show it to you when I used to be a majorette. So I still do it. I'm probably, as soon as I get done with this video today, I'm going to practice for a couple hours. I bought me a third baton and I'm practicing my three baton again and working on different stuff to teach the girls. And actually the end of the year routine last year, I did a routine and I thought I was going to die. I was like winded, my heartbeat, my heart rate was probably 180. And I said, this is crazy. I got up to like 227 is what I was. I want to put this in print so I can see it. 227. That's a lot. And I was like, I can't do that in dance. Like my body can't do the things I need it to do. And I'd gotten down to like 218 in May and I was still feeling it. And then I ended up talking to the doctor. And you know what? I kind of fasted, but I've actually, through this weight loss journey I've went through, I'm down to 197, so I've lost 30 pounds. 30 pounds since May. And it doesn't seem like a lot, like most people say that, but I was like, technically, I've lost a cinder block in a year. And that's my biggest change. And I feel so much better. And, you know, with the twirling, I'm doing better. I've actually started taking lyrical and I was in the, do the end of the year too. I'm teaching myself ballet so that I can do more, you know, know that what my teacher's talking about. <laughs> I told her I should have started off at lyrical one so I could learn all the terms, but she said no. So I'm in there with a bunch of 14, 15, 16 year olds that are amazing. And my body's just like, what? So that's like a big thing for me is just being more active. Got back into dance. I lost 30 pounds. My body actually feels better than it has before. Um, so that's amazing. And um, what else has changed for me? You know, just that's about it. That's like the two biggest changes, like my career change. I found a job that I really love which led me to being more spiritually sound because I could do things at my church. I could be part of discipleship. I'm doing upward basketball without being interrupted and without changing my schedule after making a commitment, which is amazing. And, you know, I'm just so happy about that. And then, um, and then of course, losing weight and being healthy. So those are my biggest changes. Job change, weight loss, and health. And it's all coming together and it when you focus on a couple of things everything else just falls into place so most of it though was trusting was trusting God in all of this and he laid a plan out for me and I appreciate it I hope it's not some passive will that I've wanted so bad and he's letting it happen I hope it's his so we'll see and so what are some goals goals 
you know, goals are just dreams with deadlines. And um, one of my goals is to be more organized. Be more organized. You would think that wouldn't be hard, but for a girl like me, it's eh. like I'll start it off and then I quit. So trying to be more organized. I have a planner uh, and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. I can't just trust my iPhone. Um, so being more organized. And especially also when making videos. Let's do, you know, this isn't just like a Roman numeral one. This isn't just a Roman numeral one. This has some ABC sections so that maybe do these videos and learn how to make my time better. And I have all this other stuff going on. So learning where I can put my time. Um, number two, if I had to choose a goal is to gain more knowledge, like knowledge and knowledge in what you say. Well, um, <clears throat> knowledge in my field. I watch YouTube videos, I watch Jay Dharma Wangsa, and I watch Vanessa Lau. And I'll put links to them down below so that you can see. And they're amazing in their own way. And so I watch them, but I need to do like more seminars and put them into play. Like when I say I'm gonna do something, like do it, just try it. <laughs> I think fear gets in the way and I gotta get fear out of my life in that because Fear is a liar. So, fear is a liar. So, that's something I'm going to work on this year is just knowledge and implementing it and not being scared of failure because, I mean, even if it's not a failure if you learn, you know what I'm saying? So, those are pretty much, and, and also third is still losing more weight, getting more healthy. I'm 40 years old and I still want to lose another 15 pounds at least this year and just staying healthy, getting better at my dance and things like that. And just doing the next right thing. That's all you can do. So, um, so let me just say this, Tiffany Shambly, you've been through amazing things this past year. It's like, I have to sit there and just think about it. I, coming from where I used to be I'm just I'm not I'm not proud of myself because some people will tell me they're proud of me All right these past couple of weeks I've learned a lot at church and we didn't just talk we talked about Jesus and his birth but we talked about how our church can be better how our church can be unified how we use our testimony for others because I'm also still in AA and I and girls look up to me and want to do what I do and I say you know it took me eight years to get here so I'm just I'm really happy you know and you wouldn't think so because you know I'm not the social norm of what I never thought at 40 years old I'd be single no children living with my parents but you know what? I'm not upset about it. I feel like it's other people. The fact that I don't drink upsets other people. The fact, and I'm like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> you're giving me this advice or you're telling me all this stuff to do, but you're not telling me how. You're not giving me solutions. You're just giving me my problems and just reminding me of what you think my problem is. So, y'all, I'm really content. I'm not lonely in my life. I have a shared loneliness in God. God. God is always with me and he's guiding me. And if it's not meant to be for me to be with somebody, then so be it. I've been on a couple of dates and ugh, they're just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too much. I'm just a lot. I'm just a lot for people. I have lots of energy. I have lots of joy. And I just don't know if people can handle my joy. But at, the, but at the same time, I have so much passion. And I have to find a place to direct it. You know, there's been guys before I've dated. And they'll say, you just always have all this stuff you're doing. And I said, you weren't around. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to just sit at home and wait on my Prince Charming to show up to me. No, I have a life to live and I don't have to live it in bars. I don't have to live it on dating sites and things like that. So I think that 
my goals and stuff has turned into more of a you know just it's just a reminder this is mostly for me if you sat here and watched this whole video I'm really I'm really proud of you so thank you for wanting to know my business <laughs> I put it out there for people because you never know I mean I haven't this I don't know I just I just wanted to reflect on this past year and apparently the animals around me are tired of me talking about it because they're all just barking. <laughs> Rosalie! Why is it? Oh my gosh, y'all. My name, anyways, I'm so glad they could interrupt me at a really sensitive moment. <laughs> like, so, in a recap, guys, in this past year, career change, weight loss, health, spiritual growth, um, which leads me to my goals of being more healthy. I mean, I don't want to become skinny mini, but I want to, you know, my body, I want to feel better when I wake up in the morning. I want to look good in clothes. I have chose a very vain profession, so I do want to look better. And then, you know, maybe find someone. I do want to find someone to spend my life with, but I mean, not if they you know, nowadays, not if they drink all the time or they say they're a social drinker, but every picture I see them in, they have a beer in their hand. I'm just sitting here like, I can't live that life. You can have a beer from time to time, but if it's every social event I'm having to drive you home or I'm totally embarrassed to be around you, I don't need that. God doesn't want that for me. And I think, you know, all y'all need to think better. I don't know. Maybe I'm just picky because there's guys that try to like me, but I'm just like, you know, like, what do you have for me? What is it you're going to bring me to my life? Because really and truly, I'm super happy. And if I don't feel excited to be around you, like, I'm not going to fight. I'm not. You know, people ask me how I can be happy, and I'm like, because I'm supposed to be where I'm at today. And I don't need people to validate me. Um, everything in my life is just the way God wants it. And hopefully this helps someone today. Hopefully this is going to help me a year in the future. I don't know. But, you know, people talk about bad years. To me, I just live it 24 hours at a time. And sometimes I even start my day over. I feel so sorry for people that think that way. It's really sad. And I'm just glad today that I have a higher power that gives me peace and contentment in my life and gives me drive and gives me opportunities. And people that don't have that, that makes me sad. But you know what, guys, it took me a long time to get here. And I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying, well, I'm sad for other people, but I'm, I'm just so happy for myself because I look back and I had, I was so lonely because I didn't know what it was like to have a relationship with God. When I got saved, I didn't have someone there discipling me and teaching me. And I had to learn all this on my own. But sometimes, y'all, that's all that it can be. You can't depend on people, places, and things to get better. There's a higher power there for you that can... That will help you. And I have been feeling this for weeks now. I'm just so happy. Oh, so they say tears taste differently for every feeling. They're like, what do tears of joy taste like? But thank you all for watching this video if you did. I've had great teachers all around me teaching me and coaching me. It's just been amazing that I can feel this way today. I can't wait to look back on this video. Oh, there's no telling. There's no telling where I'm going to be in a year. I'm kind of excited. So thank you all so much. And I'll close with this if my uh, 
I've had to let me. It's 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 through 8, and I'll paraphrase it. You know, I go, I went through these hardships and this pain, and I found comfort in Christ. <laughs> I want to help others find that comfort I found. This has just been an amazing year of growth, both, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually. And I thank the Lord every day for it. So thank you for watching. I'm going to have to stop now and edit this video and try to do it before today. And I've got to get some twirling in. So I can't wait for everybody to see this. Thank you all so much. God, you know, God bless you. Because Jesus Christ made it so. So. Loves.